How's it going guys? Corey the Random Guy here with you today. We are going to show you yet another product from TID Radio. This one is the UV5R Pro. As you guys can see, I put the box up on the desk. We're going to open it up. We're going to see what's in it. We aren't doing an unboxing video, but I'll show you what's inside the box. TID Radio was gracious enough to send me this radio to test out for them. My promo code is still active. I'll put the link in the description below which goes to the website and automatically applies my discount code of 20%. Guys, go check them out. They got a lot of great stuff. Promo code works on everything, not just one radio. Let's see what we got in this box. All right, first up that's in the box is your user manual. Pretty clear English. Customer service card. I don't know what country that phone number is in, but go to their website and stuff too. This is a card that actually tells you how to open it up. That's awesome. Excellent. All right, so you guys will get one of these in there too. This is promoting their little OD Master app for wireless programming. And here's your quick start guide. It's like it shows you where to go to get the programming software and then where to get the drivers. If you guys are running seven or less, say XP, use this driver, it will work. Your programming cable is very handy. I've got a few of these now. They're all the same, so I have the drivers for them. Get your speaker mic. I really like these things. These will work pretty well. Earpiece comes with the extended battery along with a small one and then of course your charger setup one that plugs into the wall and cigarette lighter for your car one thing about these in case you guys haven't noticed these don't have any regulator chips in them so they will pump the full 12 13 14 volts whatever your vehicle is putting out into the charger base and the reason why that's a problem is because the char charger base dc input is only 10 volts. This part is not regulated down, so I would not suggest using this at all inside your vehicle unless you absolutely have to. And then of course it gives you your extended antenna. This is the TID Radio TD771, 144 megahertz to 433, so it's not as wide banded as the rubber ducky antenna that it comes with. These might be okay for ham operators, but not what we're gonna use it for. Last but not least, the radio itself. This UV5R Pro, I really like its looks. I like the little silver stuff they put around the screen there. It just makes it look really, really cool. I like that. This is an eight watt radio. This is a tri-power. You can do high, medium, and low power outputs. Eight watts is its max. Very stable firmware from what I can see as well. We are gonna go do a range test. I'm only gonna go about five and a half miles out or so. I tried doing the range test yesterday, completely messed up the whole video, so I'm here redoing it today. Um, which I'm actually kind of glad it did mess up because I looked over the footage of the camera sitting on my desk pointing at the base radio here. It didn't pick hardly anything up at all. Maybe a few blips here and there between all three radios and then of course a, a nice solid signal of one coming from the mobile. Here's my plan. We are going to take the UV5R Pro out. I'm going to have a camera set up here. I'm going to go ahead and compare its signal strength and quality to the regular UV5R and the H8. The H8 still has a little bit of an issue but we're going to go ahead and give her a shot anyway. So without further ado I'm going to use my body cam actually to set up in front of the radio right there. My little green camera, it ain't working no more. Let's uh, let's get everything set up and we'll get to it. All right guys, we are headed to the 5.5 mile mark. I did finally figure out Google to give you guys a straight line <laughs> mileage here. So let's get to the spot and I'll show you on Google Maps where we are and how far we are from the base station. All right guys, we are here about 5.5 miles away from the house. I'll show you the Google map thing here that I finally figured out how to get a straight line distance from where I'm at to the house as the crow flies. So here we go. We are about 5.5 miles from the house down to where I am at. If it's windy out here, I'm sorry guys. The radio we're going to be testing, of course, is the UV5R Pro. This is the new one from TID Radio. Just going to see how this one stacks up against the very first UV5R I've ever owned, which is a 5 watt compared to an 8 watt, so you know, we'll see. And then of course the new H8. We're going to go ahead and give this thing a whirl too. I do have a camera rolling at my house. Uh, I have my body cam rolling actually because my, as I said earlier, my other camera died, so 
gotta use that. Here we go, let's do the first test with, of course, that's what this video is about, the UV5R Pro. We are on GM, GMRS 19 Simplex. There is no repeaters in between here and there. So let's give it a shot and see what happens. This is a test of the UV5R Pro, about 5.5 miles directly south of the house, running on GMRS 19. Hopefully the camera is picking it up. There we go, that concludes the UV5R Pro 8 watt test. All right. Hopefully, maybe, <laughs> we'll have results. Next up, my very first UV5R 5 watt radio. See if it'll reach the base station. GMRS channel 19, simple. Before we do this test, there was one comment on one of my older videos. It was the any tone uh, distance test. Somebody said I don't have a GMRS license. Well, I do. I just don't share my call sign on YouTube. You know, everybody knows call signs. You look them up. Guess what? It's going to give information about the person. I'm not going to give my call sign over YouTube. I know 90% of you will understand. And if my voice is elevated, it's because I'm trying to go over talk the traffic and the wind here. But yes, a lot of you will understand the reason why I don't put out my call sign on YouTube. And well, you're going to have those few people out there that don't. So anyway, let's get on with this test. UV5R, 5 watt version. This is a test of the first UV5R I have ever bought. This is a 5 watt version, about 5.5 miles directly south as the crow flies to the house. Hopefully it's picking this one up too. Anyway, this concludes the test of the UV5R 5 watt version. All right, so that concludes that one. Let's give the H8 a shot. Now, this H8, I do have to kind of yell in the thing because it has a problem with its internal microphone. We're still working on this one to get the firmware fixed where it'll be fine. Let's give this one a shot. This is a 10 watt radio here. I don't know if you guys can see that, but GMRS 19. Let's give it a shot. This is a test of the TIG Radio H8, 5.5 miles directly south to the base. Hopefully it's picking it up as well. And I hope we can actually hear it. <laughs> so, anywho, uh, this concludes the test of the Pit Radio H8, 5.5 miles south from the base. All right, that takes care of that, of the handhelds anyway. We're gonna go ahead and give one more radio a shot. We're gonna give the uh, any tone a shot. Don't mind my car, it is a little bit messy. On here, we are on GMRS channel 19. I give it a shot to the house, 25 watts. This is a test of the Anytone 778 Mobile reaching to the base station. I'm uh, running on a Nagoya, uh, and a little 19 inch, I do believe this thing's a dual band. 5.5 miles south from the base. This one should be picking it up, no problem. So anyway, this concludes the test of the Anytone 778UV. Here is my take on the UV5R Pro. The UV5R Pro, I like it. I like it a lot. I really, really like its style. I mean, it just looks more pro, hence the reason why it's <laughs> called the Pro. I really like how it looks though. I did a test with this from work to home inside of buildings, old concrete, or not concrete, uh, old, well, yeah, this one actually, the building that I work in. Concrete and brick building, tested it on GMRS. I do not have footage of that, unfortunately, but I do have footage of this radio uh, going to the base, I didn't have a camera at work with me, so. But I do have footage of this talking to the base on UHF and VHF, so I'll go ahead and splice that in here. Talk a little bit on this one, and then I'll switch it back. I'll tell you when to switch it to the other one so you can see the difference. Oh, well, Roger that. I am actually in the hall, like in the middle of the building on first floor. So, I guess. How is my signal? I don't have like any windows or anything around me. You're bouncing between seven and nine. All right, and I am about to get into the elevator, so I'm gonna definitely test it when I get into the elevator. So this will be an interesting test. Ten four. All right, I'm inside the elevator. You're hitting me with a nine. Still, huh? Uh, let's switch over to MERS three while I'm in uh, the elevator. Ten four. Are you there? I am. 
See, now you're coming in clear as day. Now I'm up on second floor too. And you're staying at nine. It makes me wonder if VHF is, is picking up extra static while where UHF is not. See, you were at nine and very staticky, and it bounced down back up, and sometimes you'd cut out. Okay. Ten four. Are you there? I am. How is my signal, or how is my quality of signal now? Way better. But this one, that was with this one. Unfortunately, I did not get footage of this one. I will one day, just didn't get it in this one. I'm actually gonna get a five pack of these. Uh, the five pack of these, I do believe on Amazon is $140. I'm not sure exactly what it is on Tid Radio's website, which I'm sure is right around the same. And then if you go to Tid Radio's website, you guys can use my promo code, which gives you 20% off of whatever the price is. But I think I'm gonna get a five pack of these. The five pack of these comes with the bigger batteries. I'm not sure about the small ones. I'm pretty sure they do. I'm gonna get some more of those pros. I really like those pros. This video, I know, I know it's a little bit longer than normal, but that's okay. I wanted to give you guys some footage of comparing each radio. So yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed. I really do. You guys, go check out their website. You guys want Tid Radios, Baofangs. I mean, they even sell Baofangs on there too. You guys want, you know, cheap, but reliable radios go to their website get you some of these program them to the way you want it and use them well, you can stack them back for emergency uses too so there you go guys i'm gonna head back to the house i'm gonna grab the footage from the other camera we'll see you guys at the house all right guys we are back from the testing of the uv5r pro against the other two or three actually um i wanted to thank tid radio for continuing to work with me sending me their products testing them out giving them a range test and giving real world deals on it you know with noise floor and interference and all that fun stuff i do want to work with them some more so hopefully we'll get another product in soon i know they're working on something else anyway thanks again Tid Radio for allowing me to test another one of your products. I'm very looking forward to testing more of your products. So anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. You guys have a good one and don't forget to check out Tid Radio. I'm out of here.